In today's A-level IB video, I'm just going to take a quick look at the term osmolarity. And this is obviously in reference to the topic of osmosis, which I've done a previous video on. But if we remind ourselves, it's the passive movement of water molecules. It must be water if we're talking about osmosis from a region of, and now it totally depends on your exam board here if you're talking about water potential it could be from a higher water potential area to a lower water potential or you'd have to check your specification to check on the wording or it could be from a region of lower solute concentration to a region of higher solute concentration and believe it or not these two phrases are saying the exact same thing and we're going to look at what that actually means this lower solute concentration compared with the higher solute concentration now when we look at the meaning of the term osmolarity so the definition of osmolarity is it's the number of moles of solute particles and remember those solute particles are solids which dissolve in a liquid, the solvent so it could be salt or sugar as is often the case in these experiments per unit volume of solution So you're effectively measuring how salty or sugary a solution is. Now obviously the saltier the solution, the less water it contains. So if we look here, we see that osmosis is the passive movement of water molecules from a region of lower solute concentration, so by definition it must contain more water, to a region of higher solute concentration, which by definition must contain less water. So very similar to your IGCSE and GCSE definition, just looking at it from a slightly different angle. So going back to looking at osmolarity, by definition therefore, pure water has an osmolarity of zero. And therefore, the greater the concentration of solutes, the higher the osmolarity. Let's look at this in a real life setting, looking at plant cells what will happen to cause plant cells to absorb water well that means that their osmolarity must be lower than the surrounding solution so how could we cause plant cells to absorb water so I'll draw a very rough plant cell here well in order for the plant cell to absorb water so that it becomes turgid the plant cells osmolarity must be higher than the surrounding solution i.e. the surrounding solution is hypotonic and so what does hypotonic mean? it means that it has low osmolarity and therefore must contain lots of water let's look at an opposing situation so we'll draw our plant cell again appallingly as usual this time I want water to leave the plant cell so how is that going to occur? well only when the plant cells osmolarity must be lower than the surrounding solution so in this case because that solution must be fairly salty we say that it's hypotonic it has high osmolarity And therefore contains little water which is why water leaves the plant cell by osmosis the last type of solution is an isotonic one and that's when the solution and cell have the same osmolarity